Okay, along the way of this whole challenge, one of the things that I don't like is when I get these crinkles in my twists because they look retarded, as you see. They have a bend in them that shouldn't be there. They should just hang straight or at least have a little curl at the end. I can deal with that. But this little crinkle thing, I don't like. You know me, always trying to figure out something I can do for <laughs> little to no money and to reuse something that I already have. So here was my little invention that I thought worked pretty well and you guys are bored one day or you're just curious, why don't you try this as well? Toilet paper tube. You know me, I'm the queen of toilet paper tube. There's always so many uses that you can get from these because they're, you know, a sturdy little design depending on what you're going to use it for. What I used it for was I took a toilet paper tube and I cut it in half here and here, which gave me a half of a tube like this. And then I took this half and I cut in two holes, one at the top, one at the bottom. I also had a version where I cut this in half and I got a fourth. And on the fourth, I put in three holes with a whole bunch. I did a video of this, but it kind of looked retarded, but I, I still wanted to share it with you since I'm in the zone of this whole thing. Okay, what I did with the first one, with the big one or the little one, depending on what you want to keep straight, as you're going to mid, you want to just take your hair, stick it in this hole, and slide it up, stick it in that hole on the bottom, and slide it down. You're obviously going to take little different portions of your hair and then just slide it like that. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this. <clears throat> depending on the length of your hair, you can customize these. So you come up with something like this, and now you're going to take take your pick. You either want to use the big one or the little one. These are customizable, so you can, depending on how you want to wrap your hair up for the night. For example, let's take my hair, and we're going to, let's say we want to take this side right here. And we could take these first few, and we just twist them up like that. And we're just going to feed it through. Actually, we're going to do it. Let's say we want to do bigger sections. I don't want to be here all night, so I want to do bigger sections. So I take it, <clears throat> and I roll it up, and I take one with the larger holes, slide it up like that. And I know this is going to look a little retarded, but bear with me. Okay, I'm going to slide it up like that. Now, what I really like about these is you can customize them according to the length of your hair. So then you can take another one and stick that on the bottom, like that. And we're just going to link them together. And then we're going to bring this through this way. And so now those two are linked together. And it'll keep your hair kind of in a, even though it looks a little bit like that, it's not a tight bend. And if you wanted to take another one and just make a short version, you can, but you can use these for the length of your hair. And then after you get them in, you just flatten them like that, but it'll keep your hair straight. Or er, then these humps that I've gotten here. And then at the end of the day or the next morning, you're gonna put your bonnet on. The next morning, you just slide them off like that. They just come off really easily. Now let me show you a version with a smaller hose. I'll take a smaller portion of hair and say maybe these right here. Because it's really kind of like, how would I describe it? It's really kind of like weaving or sewing, something like that. There's no hair loss, by the way, on this. So this is a skinnier version where if you're using smaller pieces and you want to use a little bit more. So you kind of just throw them in there like that. And then the same thing, if you want to go the length of your twist, you take this one, take another one, sorry, slide it up and you just kind of meld them together like that. And you slide this out. And however many strands you want to do on that, you see how it kind of keeps them straight like that. And then at the end of the day, you're going to have a head full of these, of course. So either you can do maybe some bigger ones in the bag, like if I didn't want to be here all night, I just wanted some big ones back here. I could just stick this one here like that. See, they're easy to put on, to put on. I'm just being really messy right now, just to kind of rush through the demonstration here. But you can put the bigger one on the bigger sections and then another one there. And so you have a bunch of toilet paper roll stretchers. And then when you wake up the net, you put your bonnet on because they're just, they're pliable. These I've used before, so they're pliable. When you use this from the beginning, they're going to be stiff. But after you use them one or two times, they'll become a little bit more pliable. But anyways, when you wake up in the morning, after you put your bonnet on, because they just, you just pull them like that, pull them all back, put your bonnet on, and go to sleep. And you just slide them off the next morning, and your hair isn't all crimped up like this. But you see how easy they just slide out, and no hair. So that's a little invention that I came up with to help stretch your hair out. And I wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> because I thought it was pretty neat. Um, a different way to do it. A way to be green, recycle something that most people just throw away. And to help prevent these little crimps that you get from the barrettes. Because I hate. This has been a whole day now and it's still the bins are still in there. So they were in there pretty quickly. So that's what I wanted to share my little invention with you. Um, so I'll call them toilet paper stretchers for lack of a better word. But try those out and let me know if they work for you and see if you like them. Last thing I want to add is I did get a couple of questions. Or I wrote down a couple of questions that I get kind of a lot. You know, sometimes you get the same question over and over. So I just wanted to address them before I say a final goodbye. And one of the questions is how I apply the uh, leave-in conditioner. If you go back to my second month video or my fifth month video, you will see me applying it. I just section it off and I just scoop it up and slide it in there. You will see on camera how I do that and how much I do it. Second question is when do I apply? I apply when I wash, which is about on average every seven to ten days. And in between, probably midweek, I'll apply it again. But I'll do it on dry hair, not wet hair because I want the hair to absorb the bulk of the moisturizing ingredients that I'm putting in it. And I can still tell that same soft difference when I do it on dry hair midweek. In between there, I'm pretty much okay. However, lately I've been using henna. Since I've been using henna, I, henna can be drying, even though it's good for your hair and it's a good conditioner for your hair, it can be drying. And I have to use two hennas, the regular and the indigo, in order to get black roots, which still is getting better, but I'm still not there yet. But because I have to do two back to back, I really got to stay on top of my oiling my scalp, which I didn't do before because it wasn't necessary, but now it is because henna is still drying. So now I oil my scalp on a regular, maybe every two to three days, and then I will apply more of the leave-in every two to three days on dry hair until it's time to wash again. Last question is, do I use other products? I don't, actually. I use um, my leave-in, the same stuff you see me use in videos. If I want to, the only thing I'll add from time to time is like on these twists, I use my leave-in, 
and then I put some shea butter on it and the shea butter to me gives the twist a little weight and I feel like it helps it stay twisted a little better versus just using the leave-in conditioner that's all that I use I don't spend money on anything I don't buy a whole lot of hair accessories I just keep it simple keep it straight and to the point the only thing that I'll change is my hairstyle what I have to do to get the hairstyle and the time that it takes to uh, wash and care for my hair but other than that I keep it simple and I try to stay on schedule But anyways, that sums up my Kimmy Tube challenge. Uh, I had a great time doing this challenge. I had a great time sharing it with you guys. And I hope that I was able to help the way that Kim helped us with this recipe. I hope that I was able to help someone by doing this journey and showing you my progress and what I actually went through and did and to show you how it has helped my hair. This was um, just trial and error and it was effective. It was really effective and I know I'm not the only one out there doing it. I've read a lot of my comments. A lot of you guys have commented on my videos that you're trying it as well and you're going to experience the same thing that I've experienced if you haven't already. So. Go out and share it with somebody else and let them know that it really does work. But you have to put in time. You have to care for your hair. There are a few things that you have to do. But what you have to do is not really a lot to ask in exchange for what you hope to gain. So everything is a give and take. You got to give in order to get. So if you don't put anything into it, you're not going to get out what you want to get out of it. You got to put the right thing in to get the right thing out. And on that note, I am going to say goodbye. And I've enjoyed, like I say, sharing this journey with you guys. And I will talk to you soon on some other video doing something. Who knows what. But you haven't seen the last of me yet. So take care, curl friends. And again, thanks for all your support. Bye-bye.